feel like no matter how hard I try in my life, I will just never ever be a morning person. Welcome back to another vlog. So it's currently Friday, 7.45 in the morning. The next 36 hours of my life will be so chaotic. I have meetings from 9 to 12.30. Come back at 3 p.m. for another meeting before I have to get ready for a black tie business event tonight. Tomorrow night at 10 p.m. I'm actually flying out and going to Germany for a little work trip. On top of that, I'm actually currently about two and a half weeks out from my PhD qualifying exam. The stress has just never been higher. The business trip has nothing to do with my PhD and I'm going to try and study as much as I can during that trip. I haven't really picked up the camera because I just wanted to focus on getting as much research done as possible. Anytime I travel out of the country, I'm always anticipating and expecting no Wi-Fi. Yes, it's a work facility, but you can never really rely on other countries and other international facilities. Take Uganda, for example. I literally stayed at the research facility and their Wi-Fi cut out every single day for two weeks in a row. I couldn't do any research, couldn't look up any papers, which is literally what my job is. And so this time around, I am prepared. In other news to focus on studying, I have recently deleted Instagram and YouTube off my phone. Every time I went to take a break on my phone and I'm like, oh, I'll just like take a five to 10 minute break. Next thing you know, 40 minutes goes by and I'm like, I just wasted so much time. Not that it's news that people <laughs> usually waste time on social media apps, but around this time right before my exam with all of this going on, I just can't afford it. So I deleted it off my phone. I actually really like it because now if I need to decompress, I usually just turn on like Netflix or YouTube on my laptop or on my iPad. And then I'll put it on in the background sometimes while I'm studying so that yes, I'm studying a little bit slower. It just keeps me motivated to keep going and keep reading. Okay, well, makeup is done. I'm gonna go and cook a really big breakfast because I don't think I'll be eating lunch until 1 or 2 p.m. today. So, yep, let's, let's go. I suck at these transitions, so we're just gonna go. late before i go let's talk outfit a majority of the things that i'm wearing are not even mine this is a halter top from my mom's closet that i stole and then the jeans i guess are mine so that's the phd outfit for the day and then also a quick update on my plants look at how much they've grown ah! so this plant i bought about two weeks ago and this giant leaf right here it was just starting to grow out and now there's a new leaf i can just stare at it all day but this is my new plant, baby. I'm gonna stop wasting time procrastinating. Uh, I gotta get going. Why is it freezing in here? I don't understand. So all my morning meetings are done. It's 1 p.m. I'm gonna get a little bit of work done, just reply to some emails here, but I'm gonna rush back home after, have some lunch, and then take my meetings from there. <laughs>
about 4.40 p.m. I have to get ready soon for the event that I'm going to tonight. Before I do that, I just want to show some progress on what I've done so far in terms of studying for the exam. So the past week, I've literally just pulled out like hundreds of papers and then wrote notes for them, things like that, so that I can prepare for my trip and just have all my notes ready to just memorize. What I've done is basically put all of my notes into PowerPoint and each slide is a different paper or a different topic and I'm limiting myself to one slide for each topic so I don't overstudy. Last week I think I left off at 52 slides and now we have 195 slides. But I also have some handwritten notes here just because I got bored of typing. I like the progress that I'm making. I think I'm doing really well in studying, but I have to turn off my laptop now, otherwise I'm gonna be late. I have exactly one hour to get ready. And first thing to do is to do my hair. In my head, I have a vision of what I want to look like. I don't know if I'll actually achieve that, but I'm going for like, a classy, elegant, I'm a rich wife type of look. We're gonna see if we can achieve that in under an hour. I would say most of the time it doesn't actually take me too long to get ready because my night out makeup and my everyday makeup is literally the exact same. I remember back when I had prom, I got ready for prom in half an hour. done looking cute i literally just kept the same makeup as the morning i didn't even wipe it off i just touched up my concealer just a little bit and then added a little bit of eyeliner and that was it my dress is black so i feel like i need some gold jewelry you may not know this but i love earrings i literally organized them in this cute little box and gold earrings are my weakness so i actually bought these earrings back when i went to taiwan ah they're so cute I don't know if they'll go with the hair tonight, but that being said, look at how cute these earrings are. I love them so much. And I have this cute flower earring that spins in the middle. I feel like Asia just makes the cutest, like dainty, elegant earrings. And anytime I go to Asia, I literally just buy so many. I've worn this dress before to one event and I really liked it, so I'm just gonna reuse this dress today. Purse will be this cute Dior bag that I stole from my mom's closet. And speaking of my mom, I finally told my mom about my YouTube channel. I didn't tell her before because I had like a personal milestone that I wanted to reach before telling her. I'm pretty sure she's watching this, so hi mom. This is your bag. I will return it. Let's finish off with a Guerlain perfume. And then these cute little heels that I bought for prom six years ago. So that's the outfit. I'll see you guys there. I love my makeup look tonight, but I'm so ready to just wipe everything off and go to bed.
It is just before 1 p.m. and I leave for the airport for Germany at 5. I have just over four hours and I haven't started packing yet. This is the latest I've ever packed. I have nothing prepared. I'm literally freaking out. I still have some work to do on my computer right before I go. So I have all my electronics charging right now and I forget. I only have one USB-C plug. So everything that needs a USB-C, like my iPad, my batteries, headphones, everything. They're just like in line waiting to be charged. We got this. We are calm, collective people. I can do it. Here's what it's looking like so far. It looks like chaos, but I have a system. I think next step now is just to put everything in my suitcase. I have this suitcase. It's bigger than a week's worth of clothes, but I don't have anything in between this and a carry-on. So I feel like I can get away with packing a few extra outfits that I might not wear. Okay, so all my bags are packed, everything is ready to go. I am crossing my fingers that my suitcase is not over 50 pounds. I'm just waiting for my Uber to come and then I'm off to the airport and off to the Germany. I'm super excited, but it's also just really stressful because of the whole timing of it. Like I have an exam coming up in two weeks. It's like the biggest exam of my life. I'm not done studying, um, which is that added pressure and obviously, if I fail that exam because I decided to take this trip and this opportunity, then at the end of the day, it's totally my fault. I don't want to be such a downer because I'm still so excited to visit Europe. But yeah, anyways, thank you so much for tuning into another vlog. I'm excited to see what the next week and a half, two weeks will bring. And that's it. Ah! <laughs> I'm going to Europe. Bye. <laughs> Super cool. Cheers. Dunkin' Donuts, ain't no way. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm really full. Cool. <laughs>